is there about showing so much of your breast exposed, except for excitement for a male? You know, half of them are gonna have them when they grow up, and all of them probably at least at one point sucked on them, so I don't know why they should be such a big deal. In 2015, the phrase free the nipple spiked on social media, outpacing other gender-related terms. Why so much interest in this? We hung out with the outdoor co-ed topless Pulp Fiction Appreciation Society in New York to learn more. Many New York citizens don't realize that it's actually legal for women to be topless. It's been legal since the year 1992. That year, Ramona Santorelli argued that New York nudity laws were unconstitutional since they single out female nipples. Several justices agreed and effectively legalized female toplessness in New York. That at one point in history, it was also illegal for men to be topless as well. Only in the year 1937 did it become legal for men to be topless in New York. The law should not be applied different based on your gender. The law should just be the law. Still, some officers may not be aware of the law, and this has led to wrongful arrests. Oh my goodness, that is... They called 911. We are a threat. Oh, wow. <laughs> the public decency laws in most other states are still murky and open to interpretation. This is not an emergency. They really called That was hilarious. I'm sorry, I've never had the cops called on me in my life. I don't know, I wasn't terribly threatened by it since I know that I know my rights. In Times Square, a group of topless women created a media frenzy in 2015 when they decided to exercise their right as a way to earn tips. Hi guys, photo, picture. Oh my god, so free the thing. nipple. Free the nipple, yes. The media dubbed them the desnudas, which translates to the nudes. Well, I'm out here expressing my rights as a woman. Mayor Bill de Blasio has expressed concern about the issue. I don't like the situation in Times Square, and we're going to address it in a very aggressive manner. He set up a task force to look for a way to regulate the activity, but no action has come of it yet. We're not bad people, we're just naked girls in paint. They don't have the right that the naked cowboy had for 20 years. And it is a question of equal rights for women, and I can't stand the hypocrisy. Thank you. But while an exposed female nipple is legal in New York, on social media sites like Instagram and Facebook, female nipples are still censored. You can show all the side boob and under boob you want to once those nipples come out. It's a problem. To get around it on certain social media sites, women are photoshopping men's nipples onto their nipples. That is ridiculous. How can you tell the difference? Why should one nipple be censored and the other one isn't? Male nipple templates such as these have circulated widely on social media. The movement has attracted national attention. In New Hampshire, lawmakers responded by introducing a bill that would make it illegal for women to expose their nipples. The bill has yet to have a hearing. Opponents of the movement argue that female breasts are sexual organs and are too distracting for men. I think it's too seductive for the opposite sex. Son hombres y no no se puede contener, ¿no? Si tienen que ir a tomarse la foto. And Ara, that's right. That's wrong, yeah. yeah. We know. Activists are concerned that society has lost sight of a breast's natural function. I was out with some coworkers and we saw this woman breastfeeding and one of my coworkers was like, "Oh, that's totally disgusting." It's disgusting that people see it that way. Who sexualized breasts, really? Someone did that. Someone made it sexual. Naturally, they're not sexual at all. They're for the babies. I think at some point, with the Free the Nipple movement and the campaigns going on, I think women will be able to have their nipples looked at the same way as a man's. But I mean, if we're going this far, soon it's going to be you know, underway for everyone. The ultimate goal for, for us, you know, um, for women's equality and women's rights, is that there's no reaction. Thank you.